This term, there's something different on the school menu. Cheese sandwich, ham sandwich, please. Here at Charles Williams Primary near Newport and right across Wales, all reception-age children can now get their lunch for free. It's been fantastic. The numbers have gone up. It is challenging, but it's a nice challenge, especially when you see the smile on the faces of the children and when they've tried new foods and they actually like them. The provision of universal free school meals varies across the UK. In Scotland, all state school pupils can get them for their first five years in education. In England, it's for the first three years of school. In Northern Ireland, access depends on family income at every age. And whilst across Wales it's just the first year of school now, by April the scheme will cover three school years and by 2024 kids will get free lunches for all seven years at primary. We 100% think that Wales is doing the right thing um, and that England should follow suit. Uh, the fact that we're you know, one of the richest economies, we, we generate so much money and yet we can't um, afford to feed our kids, is, is, it's just insane. With many schools needing new equipment and more staff, this initiative is costing the Welsh Government more than a quarter of a billion pounds. The Conservative opposition in Wales says the money should have been more carefully targeted, a criticism I put to the First Minister. If you were more generous with the means testing, you could help children in greater need. Well, we will have families in Wales this winter who never thought uh, that they were close to the edge of managing. Those families too will be really struggling to make ends meet. This policy reaches into the life of every family. Some Welsh councils are pushing ahead of the national timetable. Around Newport, years one and two are already included. Universal entitlement can only be a good thing because it means that every child has got that entitlement to a, a nutritious meal at lunchtime so their tummies are full and it means that all children are treated exactly the same way, um, which can only be a good thing. The free meals used to cost £2.15, pence, so savings will add up. This policy is bound to prove popular with parents as their costs continue to rise. Catherine Jones, 5 News, Newport.